Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is an update. This video is gonna be about uh, days three through six, leading up to week one of recovery uh, after my surgery. So now I'm just gonna be showing you that I'm back home. Uh, I'm currently gonna be on oral meds throughout this entire video. So you're gonna kinda see how it's been like. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty tired throughout you know, most of these days because it's a very tiring process throughout the first week. I'm also going to be showing you about the process of bathing and how I go through bathing. Icing. Icing is very important. Uh, the machine that I use to ice is one from a specific company that the doctor provides and they kind of, you know, bring it to your house, set it up and they show you how to use it. So I'll be showing you that. Another big thing is being dehydrated. Throughout this entire video, I'm pretty much dehydrated throughout the entire process because you're so thirsty all the time because of all the meds that I've been taking and it's really tough to you know constantly keep drinking water because you need to get up and go to the bathroom and it's hard to be mobile when you know you're in a sling the first week and you're in pain and all that good stuff. I also am going through hand exercises that they gave me and the breathing exercises so uh, let's just get started and you can see kind of how my first three to six days have went by. All right, so it is currently 11.40 a.m. Uh, as you can tell, I'm back home now. I'm in a lot of pain. Yesterday, right before I left my room in the hospital, which was very comfortable, uh, had IVs in and you know all the medication just going through my bloodstream very quickly and uh, keeping the pain at a minimal level. And it was great, and I was comfortable with the bed propping up. Coming home, not having that, being on the oral pills made it very painful for me to kind of walk around. Like I have my sling and my arm propped up right now, a pillow. I'm just kind of going through the day, going through the pain, and that's what it's, what's expected. The first week, it's going to be very painful, very hard to sleep. I have one of those reading pillows uh, just propping me up at night on my bed and pillows surrounding me. I am also using a neck pillow for airplanes, airplane neck pillows. They're to prop up my arm, use it for my neck sometimes when I'm sleeping. It's been, it's been very painful, but um, it's only the second day after surgery. I'm just ready to keep moving forward. Everything's been great, but keeping up with uh, hand exercises and, you know, with the medication and all that good stuff, it's going to be good. Until my post-op, where I basically, after the operation, I go and see the surgeon again. He changes my bandages, and I get to have no bandages anymore, or I also get to see if I get to take off the sling for a certain amount of time throughout the day, because... I currently am wearing the sling 24-7. I've yet to take it off. I've been in the sling for like two and a half days now uh, since the operation. It's pretty uncomfortable. This entire thing is just like around my left arm and it's really hard to bathe yesterday before I left. My mom helped me out. She soaked a towel with the antiseptic soap and basically just washed around my entire body without taking off the sling. And I just kind of put my clothes back on, and uh, that was it. That was all I got. So I feel like gross and smelly, but it's the only option I have for bathing at this point. All right, so an update. It's about 4.30 p.m. I am currently hooked up to this machine, thingamajigger. Uh, this machine basically hooks up to this pad here that is releasing colder water. Uh, it's a mix of, I don't even know, I have no idea. There's some kind of watery material that's flowing through this thing, keeping the pressure down of uh, the, the blood that's constantly flowing in my shoulder, so it will continue to help alleviate the stress and pain that comes with uh, the surgery. Really in pain right now but this cold water does feel good. The compression is nice as well to keep that swelling down. This machine thing wasn't covered by the insurance. It was like $275 for two weeks, which is not bad, but 
Icing is such an important factor of post-operation recovery. So I suggest to so many people, if you have an option to do something like this, or you know, some kind of way to ice that's really efficient and really helps with the recovery process, you need to take advantage of it because it's super important. The medication that I am taking is definitely taking a toll on my body. I'm constantly sleepy and have no energy. Also, the laxatives that they gave me at the hospital yesterday was for bowel movement because they weren't allowed to release me from the hospital unless I had bowel movement. And I didn't have any bowel movement, so they gave me tons of laxatives. And I am definitely feeling that today. And it is definitely not easy with this freaking sling here, trying to get up and down off the toilet constantly. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Road to recovery. I love it. I love it. I'm already feeling better. All right, so it's Friday the 17th, and today I just went in to uh, the primary care physician. I got the nerve blocker removed. They put a patch on there for me. It bothered the crap out of me sleeping. I was so uncomfortable sleeping with this thing in my neck. It was basically a long tube that was injecting a lot of anesthesia, so it took the pain away. As soon as I took it out of my neck, I felt a little relieved and then now the pain's starting to come back into my shoulder, but it's all good. I just feel so much better without that damn thing in my neck, but it is patched up now and I'm good to go. Um, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm just gonna kinda walk around the house. I got out of the house a little today, so that was nice. Uh, I've been sitting in the house for like two straight days and in the hospital for a day, so. It's kind of nice just kind of being out a little bit, but I was in pain uh, just sitting in the car. The car is a real bumpy ride, um, and you don't realize it when you have a perfectly good shoulder. But when you have a messed up shoulder and it's bumping around, it's very painful. Later, my friend is coming over, George. He's going to be visiting me. It'll be nice just to see somebody other than my family. I mean, I love my family to death, but I just got to change it up a little bit. You know, it's a mental game at the end of the day. This whole process is all about mental game. I'm gonna go ice right now on the ice machine and then uh, updates coming later. All right, so Saturday about 7 a.m. The audio was pretty bad. I woke up and switched over to the couch. It was not a comfortable sleep that night. I don't remember why. Uh, I had on and off sleep, woke up at about 3 or 4 a.m. I switched over to the couch. My lower back, left butt cheek was just bothering the crap out of me. And uh, I was just uh, really sore and I wanted to change up my sleeping position and the couch helped me out a lot better doing that. I changed my shirt, I got up, I started doing my breathing exercises, my hand exercises. I wanted to begin my day, the light was out and I wanted to start being a little more productive throughout the day. I decided to continue on with the day and move forward. Monday, August 20th, about 9 a.m. And it's the sixth day after surgery. Uh, yesterday was nice, Sunday, I got out of the house a little bit. I woke up, it was my fifth day back, it was in a tiny bit of pain, took my medication as needed. And I went to church for a little bit, I came back home. Um, was a bit uncomfortable being outside because I've been at home kind of a little bit for the past four or five days. And then I, uh, Got back home, a lot of friends and family visited me those last couple days over the weekend and uh, it was really nice just kind of mentally being able to see everybody and having people come and visit. I've been at home and not really doing much because, you know, recovery is really important so I don't want an infection or anything to happen. So I've kind of been staying home and taking care of myself and icing a lot about three to four times a day. Today I felt great waking up six days in and I woke up very nicely. I got to sleep uh, a little bit flatter today. Not really propped up sitting up. It was nice. I really got to enjoy a little bit of sleep after you know six days of kind of uncomfortable, painful sleep. Uh, getting up wasn't really a big issue. Didn't really feel much pain getting up. But I am a little bit sore, as usual. Muscles in the area and around and back. I can't wait to you know get this damn sling off and 
see what Dr. Idamora says on Friday when I see him after the 10 day post-op appointment that I have with him. Everything's been great, just a small little update. It's about 1.30 p.m. and I kind of just wanted to show my bed set up. I just finished icing right now and I feel good. But right here, I've got, you can see the reading pillow. I bought that from Walmart, it was about 20 bucks, nothing. Kind of helps me get propped up on the bed. Earlier stages, in the first few days when I was like a little more pain, it was harder for me to sleep. I would sleep sitting up and the uh, couch pillows would serve as kind of a uh, support and side support from the walls would make it a little more comfortable. I would use a pillow to the right to kind of prop up my shoulder and stabilize it a little bit. And once I get back into normal sleep, I'm most likely gonna have to put a pillow under my shoulder, like propping my arm up or something. Once the sling starts coming off, when I start sleeping, hopefully in the next week or two, depending on what the doctor tells me I gotta do. We'll see how I feel overall after one week after the surgery.